What's going on guys? It's the Poster 64 back here with another Godzilla figure review. Guys, today we have a cool one. It is the Hong Kong Battle Kong figure. This guy's from Playmates, from the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong movie, obviously. And this is pretty much just a repaint of the first Kong with the axe that came out. Only this guy has painted to have that cool Hong Kong glow reflecting on him from what I assume is going to be the final battle of this movie. I imagine it'll take place in the city. First of all, let's jump in, take a quick look at the packaging. You got the battle damage. I really like the purple text here you got on the Hong Kong battle section. The sticker is new. It's not a sticker, but the, this print is new to this round two of figures. Here's the back. Again, we got the round two of figures here. Um, got the Kong in here. You can pause if you want to read any of these blurbs here. And there's that. There's this guy. I've yet to see the Godzilla Extreme yet, but we'll keep our eyes peeled for that hitting stores. Guys, I did pick this guy up from Walmart just the other day. Price is $9.98, I believe, or $9.94. So under $10, which is a pretty good price point for a figure like this. Um, as you can see, got the axe, got the battle damage that goes right here. Got the big chunk out of his shoulder. Um, so let's take a quick look at the figure now that we got the packaging out of the way. So this Kong is pretty awesome. Again, like I said, just a pretty much a straight repaint of the first one. I'll bust him out really quick for comparison, just so you can see. Here's the Kong with axe. Here's the Kong, Hong Kong glow. Pretty much just a straight repaint, except for the mouth is closed on this guy. So a different head. Um, it would've been cool if the mouth had either had articulation or if it came with two heads. So you could uh, do either one. But I assume if you really wanted to, you could probably pop a head, pop his head off stick the mouth open one you just be missing the blue the blue beard he's got on there a little bit um but anyways pretty much a straight repaint on this guy minus the head but a pretty cool figure especially at the ten dollar price point one thing um take a look at the axe real quick first um so obviously the first actually this axe is probably a bit of a downgrade i think from the first axe first axe had the cool godzilla texture on the spines here whereas this one they removed the blue for the for the for the uh, purple here but they did not paint the backside at all. And um, obviously, it's, you know, they should have had the blue spines and then done the purple on top of it. It would have been really cool if they could have made it look really similar to Godzilla's spines in the Hong Kong glow figure. That would have been awesome. But we did not get that. But again, like I said, this is a $10 figure, so I cannot complain too, too much. Um, let's take a look at articulation real quick. The head does spin on this angle here. Um, you can spin it all the way around. Arm swivels all the way around. Get the full swivel. It also uh, has elbow movement here. Get the full 90 degree angle. Wrists do turn. And the arm is on a ball joint, so you can get this kind of, so you can get huge range of motion on the arm, which is awesome. Definitely always enjoy the, the range of motion. You got the fisted hand over here. Um, one thing that I don't love is the paint cut off. Um, you know, if you're gonna do a glow, make it, you know, have it fade out instead of just a straight cut off on the brakes. You have it here too. Um, leg articulation, again, kind of on a swivel, so you can kind of get some turning and movement. Uh, knees have some, some articulation. This looks a little, little broken here, but that's okay. Break his leg a little bit. So there is, there's your Kong articulation, guys. Um, real quick, we'll bust out the ruler. Um, for those of you who care about the exact measurements, get the ruler out. So from the back, Kong's sitting right under the six inch mark. There's the six. Uh, obviously, uh, the width is gonna be a little bit, uh, about five inches or so on the width there. Um, that said, let's bust out a couple other figures, take a look at how we compare. We already saw him up against the Kong he was repainted after. Let's grab the Godzilla real quick. He's got his atomic breath here, we'll pop that out. So pretty good scaling with the Godzilla, the repainted Godzilla. That scaling works very well. Um, like I said in the review for the Godzilla, if you haven't seen that, check it out. But like I said in that review, um, the play Playmates did a really good decision by making these figures all in the 6-inch scale. Here's the Mecha Godzilla from the same line. It's good scaling there. Because with the 6-inch scaling, they, they were able to fit with your NECAs. This is the NECA Godzilla 2019 from King of the Monsters. Scaling is good on that. And they're able to scale with all your Bandai Creation and Bandai Japan. This is the Bandai Creation Space Godzilla. So he scales really well with all the six inch figures, which is awesome. Guys, I wanted to do a quick show off of the, the other Kong. 
Obviously this Kong is a lot taller. This is kind of the, the other Playmates Kong that they did. Kind of a more generic one. Um, so this Kong is a little bigger. Obviously if you wanted to check out this Kong against Godzilla, he's a little taller. Um, so that, that Kong is a little too tall. I like the scaling on this one a lot better. A little shorter and stubby, um, but definitely ready for action. Um, real quick, we'll take a look at the battle damage. Um, pop this piece right off of his shoulder. Reveal a big old chunk. Um, and like I, like I said in the other videos, I'm not sure if this is going to be a movie accurate uh, injury that Kong sustains. We'll have to find out. Um, or if this is just battle damage for battle damage sake. But again, I do really like the battle damage on these figures. I was nervous that this is going to be totally lame and, and just like obviously missing pieces. But it fits in pretty well there and you can't really notice it unless you're looking for it. Um, so definitely not a huge issue on that. This arm actually looks better than this arm because this arm has the ball joint there. Um, but uh, so the, the, the battle damage definitely is not too much of an issue. I wish we got a little more of the Hong Kong glow, maybe on Kong's head or his chest and legs a little bit because it's just right on his arms there. Nothing on the back. Um, so it would have been nice to get a little extra Hong Kong glow. I guess you got the little beard glow, but a um, little here. But nothing on the chest, nothing on the legs. Would have been nice to get a little bit of that. But uh, again, it's a $10 price point. Can't complain too much, guys. Check your local Walmarts. These guys should be hitting shelves right about now for you. Good luck hunting them. I know they've been kind of elusive, but definitely recommend picking them up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stick around for the next video, and thanks a lot. We'll see you.